Hi, you guys. So welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new on the Spiritual Barbie. I know only say that because if you can't already tell now from the title, this is a reading about an event. It's called The Gossip, okay? This is what it's called. And it's about Yolanda, Gigi Hadid, okay? And then Zayn Malik, right? From One Direction, right? <laughs> I wish I could insert the song that I'm thinking of right now into the video. But he was brought up on charges. And, um, you know, Yolanda said that he did something to her. So I wanted to look into it. I wanted to see what the tarot has to say. I'm also going to look into Dory Kensley. Because <clears throat> she was robbed. And that's not funny, but she was robbed, you guys. So I'm going to also look into her situation right next. So, um, Yolanda... Whew. All right, first of all, Spirit, tell us what really happened. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay? That's what we're going to do today. She lost the upper ground. Somebody in this situation, I feel like it was Yolanda. She lost the upper ground. She fell from her, her, play, her stance in the sense that she might you know, be somebody who thwarts others, you know, she might have like lack confidence a lot, bigly. There's some, there's some energy here. Does it, it feels like it's a man. If this was a man, she had a dealing with this man. Okay. It could have been Zayn Malik. I don't even know his sign. I'm about to find out his sign. Mm hmm. You look so unprofessional. Well, I'm not being professional. <laughs> I am doing a reading, <laughs> just in case. Because I don't even know his sign. I know she's a I know she's a Capricorn. Okay. If he's an Aries, I'm done. Okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, he's a Capricorn too. He's a Capricorn too. So this was a man, I feel like it was the Hadid man. I feel like it, that was a very abusive relationship. I feel like when, I, when he left her, she, she snapped. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that Hadid man. Muhammad. When he left her, oh no. But he's a Scorpio. He's a Scorpio. So I'm like, maybe it was her father. You know what? It could have even been her father, right? But there is a man here, and that's why that's why that's probably why I'm feeling it more of an energy than a person. That's that's that makes a lot of sense. But I had to make sure that like, okay, is this is no, this is not a thing. So there's a man's energy here that he thwarted her. She's been thwarted. She walks around thwarting others because she's thwarted. She's insecure. She's not on her upper ground. She's not. And it wasn't her ex-husband that did this. It might've been the loss of her father. You know, he might've been like an interesting type of person that she wouldn't really like people talking about. You know what I'm saying? She would just like to remember his name in a certain way and everybody's just gonna respect that. And so am I. I'm just going to respect that. But uh, she was thwarted. And she she thwarts. She'd rather I'd say she thwarts others than I say anything about this man. Okay? But she thwarts others because she has a lack of that energy, that support. It was taken from her. Okay? It was devastating. It was devastating. She might have had a reoccurring experience later on in her life that was devastating again. She was devastated. And it, you know, that's, that's you know, like in a, in a very sad way. This is very sad. This was a man that was supposed to help her. He devastated her. And she hasn't had the upper ground ever since. She betrayed, he betrayed her trust. Her trust was betrayed. That's so sad. That's so sad. Listen, ultimately, it's kind of psychological now at this point. 
I feel like if this happened when she was young, the younger it, it she was when it happened, because she's kind of private, the younger it was when it happened, or she was when it happened, um, that decimated her 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 um psyche more. The younger she was, the more it decimated her psyche. The older she was, you know, the less likely it decimated her psyche, or but it just might make her more of a, like a narcissist. It just make her. It might make her more of like somebody who doesn't really care about other people's opinions and feelings, because it happened to her older. But if it happened to her when she was young, this really fucked up her fucking brain, and you can't expect her to be different. Fuck you, like because this she went through. First of all, because they had. First of all, first the fuck of all, like you have to give this. You have to give this attention. Somebody decimated her, okay, and it was not fucking fair. She never fucking got justice. The only fucking thing she got was the harsh lessons and she still doesn't trust herself. She still doesn't trust anybody. That's why her first marriage ended. Cause she doesn't, she didn't trust him when she could have, she could have trusted him. He loved her. He still does. It's just a weird situation and it's none of my business. Okay. That's all. But earth signs always have the weirdest. Earth signs never open up. That's why they need a water sign slash air sign in their life to be like, yo, she needs to listen to Bella. She needs to listen to Bella. She doesn't listen to Bella. And that's why she has Bella in her life to help her because she's an earth sign. They're so fucking stubborn. But if she just opened up, it, it'd just be a great situation. You know, if she opened her heart, a lot of things that she thinks is an issue would be fine. Or it would just somehow, oh, it just worked out. <laughs> She knows this, or she heard this, she thinks this, this is an idea that has come to her, but she doesn't really trust herself in that way, okay? Especially when it comes to this love connection, but just in general. So, you know, she doesn't really trust folks. She has a lack of faith and trust, yes, but also there was a new beginning in trust or a new beginning in a new idea that was thwarted and blocked. Can you tell me more? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no, somebody showed up. <laughs> She might, she might have been trying to thwart somebody in some way and something else popped off that was a bigger dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm really getting. <laughs> and I feel like that's how it's coming in. It's none of my goddamn business. This is one of those readings where it's like, I don't want nobody to pop off on me. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes the algorithm is so funny. Sometimes it's like, oh, 30,000. <laughs> and it, it will be the readings and the videos. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Or it'll be five, and it's fine if it's five. It's fine if it's 30,000. I just don't want to offend anybody. I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm kind of over that now. <laughs> I'm trying to work on that. It's hard, though. I'll be one of the drag bitches. But I'm the only drag bitches that deserve it, period. And that's, I'm, I'm, I'm checking, I'm tuning, you know, my my psychopathy back in. I'm tuned back in the psychopath. Okay, bring her back, rein her in. Come on, rein her back in. <laughs> Psycho. Psycho. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> no, but she, oh my goodness. I don't know what this fucking was, but somebody else stepped into their fucking power a whole lot more. And Yolanda was decimated. Yolanda was decimated, man. She went through some desecration in the recent past or just now. Somebody stepped into their power. She wasn't expecting, somebody was not expecting somebody to step into their power like this. She doesn't even understand that she needs to transform. She doesn't understand it. Oh my goodness. She has a new beginning, but she also has, she came down, if she lost a lot of stuff, something that she held of great value, all she has left is the bare minimum. She's not willing to let it go. And she's dealing a lot with paranoia. Oof. There's a lot of communication, a lot of fucking commun a lot of fucking communication. And there's a lot of messages of love and stuff like that. There could also be a baby, two children, right? A water sign child, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio, and a, um, a, a Gemini Libra Aquarius. There's also a Gemini here, an older Gemini. You know what I'm saying? He's messy, but he's fun. But but he's messy to her. She's paranoid about him. Okay, she could be paranoid about all these different people. This all ties into what happened that day. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. This all ties into what happened that day. We weren't there. We were not fucking there. Okay, so there was a little, a, a young kid, right? Maybe to her, the kid is young. 
right? But the kid could be a young kid. I don't know. I wasn't there. And then there's another young kid. He's mad emotional. She's mad emotional. There's another young kid. That kid talk a lot. She talk a lot. Or he talk a lot. He talk a lot. Um, he does not shut his mouth. And then there's an older kid that he will bra bra. He's a he's a rah rah type of person. He has a personality like that. He's very spunky and he's a little bit crazy. Get out his get out of his way. That's the kind of person that he is. Now all those people she's either paranoid about and she's not willing to lose. Or they're making her paranoid, period, okay? Or they were, and they were making her paranoid because she was looking at herself. There was all this commotion going on and she was she's not a gossip. She's not a gossip, so she's not out here in other people's fucking homes. She minds her business, so she's like, why the fuck is this shit making me so fucking paranoid? For all we know, this could have even been a message about a child or about a new beginning that she was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. It was too much for her. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But something was trying to come down in her life. She wasn't letting it. She doesn't want to let it come down in her life. She's holding on to something that's coming down. Mommy is breaking down. Bring it down. Corn showed up. Mm -mm. Corn showed up. They decimated it. You got to get out the building. She's trying to stay in it, though. But she's paranoid. And that caused an event. Okay? That caused her to be like, oh... Mm -mm. Can we have a conversation? She, because once again, she's not a gossip. So she might have been like, Can we have a conversation? Bada da. Bada da. Should have sent it. Bada da. Bada da. Shit went up. It ascended. That's all she needed to do. All she needed to do was say, Can we have a conversation, please? All she needed to just ask was a fucking question. Bada da. Boom. Boom. What happened next? Oh no, spirit. Okay. Mm. Mm. Something came to her. Oh my God. She might have. She might have got the truth. She might have went to a psychic. She might be psychic, right? <laughs> she might have got a psychic download about one of her children that made her so fucking paranoid and is behind somebody here. I'm not yet seeing. Now I'm just seeing Zayn Malik show up just now. I'm just now seeing him show up right now, just now. Round the corner. I'm seeing him right here. To her, to her, he's a page. Right? If I see the night, then that's definite. That's most definitely him. But right now, I'm feeling like that's him to her. That's where he showed up. Because she said she has something happen. She had a feeling. She had a feeling. She got a message and then she saw a picture and then she said, uh-uh. And that was it. I feel like that was it for her, okay? Like something happened and that's just what that was. And that's none of my business, okay? That is absolutely none of my business. So here comes Zane. Enter Zane. <laughs> Enter baby Zane. Here he comes. Ooh, here he comes. He shows up. He said, boom. I'm about to be the fifth pentacle. Fuck you. <laughs> he said, I'm about to be the fifth one. But he said he was 100%. He's so dead ass. He was so dead ass. He wasn't just saying that. You guys, I'm starving. <laughs> Maybe he's hungry as fuck. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right, so <sighs> Zane, he had a betrayal. He was betrayed and he betrayed another person. He, he, he got caught up in devastation. Okay, now I feel like this is starting up with this situation right here. Okay, this situation, we're, we're not starting from Zane's childhood. Okay, we don't need to understand Zane's character for some reason. All we need to know is that he was decimated. He was betrayed deeply and he betrayed another at the same time. It was at the same, it was decimating. Okay, sometimes I'm talking about these niggas in the readings and stuff. Sometimes I'm talking about these. Sometimes when I do the karmic love readings, I'm talking about these niggas right here. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. That's not Aquarius. Aquarius is February. Um, He's a Capricorn. So what happened with Zane? All right, boom. Then he pulled up. He pulled up in that same energy. No, that's what he does. He pulls up in that same energy, but that's, he shows up rah, 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 rah. Ra 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 ra. 
he shows up rah 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 he wanna he he, he likes to He's mad rambunctious. That's why they broke up. That's none of my business. I didn't ask about that. I feel like that's why they broke up, though. That's why they broke up. Okay? She might have had a bad feeling about him. She might have had a bad feeling about him. I don't know who broke up who. It could have been the band. Right? I don't know. But he, you know, he's a diva. He does He does his thing. He he knows his worth. He's Cersei. Okay? He knows his worth, you know what I'm saying? He just knows the value of his body and his time and stuff. The relationship you are in is serving to teach you something very important. Zayn and um, Yolanda, they both need to learn something important together. They both are like, oof, I feel like Yolanda, she really cannot really deal. And I don't know, Zayn, he cannot deal either. This is so, they have such a strange relationship. Let me just say that right fucking now. Oh my, oh my God. They have such a strange relationship. <laughs> now he, why are you, okay. So this person, okay. Now, now I feel like, wait, I, I, I feel like he, he was in the wrong. He fucks, he comes in and he will fuck up your mind. Okay. He will come into the room and what your thoughts were before, you're not going to be thinking about that no more. And you're not going to be thinking about lollipops and rainbows either. You're going to be in your head questioning, what the fuck just happened? He's that type of fucking person, okay? He's that type of fucking person. He just lives in his own world, and he doesn't really give a shit about anybody else but himself. But it's totally spiritual and valid, okay? He's not somebody who's out of bounds. It's totally spiritual. Like if you walked his path and you were him, you would be the same exact way. And there would, and God would, God would be like, it's okay. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people might ask God why. You know what I mean? Like that blonde boy in one, one Direction, he just popped up in my head. He asked God, why do you let him continue? You know, and here's the thing. He just, Zayn has done a lot of introspection on himself. Zayn knows him. That's why you can't thwart me or Zayn. Because Zane knows himself. That's why we're both mad annoying and we don't care. Because he knows himself, okay? He's mad annoying. He's mad annoying. And if he opens his mouth, he can really switch up the end. You will just be in your head for 16 years. <laughs> oh my God. But Zane, he's really good. He's really smart and he really helps you to clear your head. Like he's really good at talking. And and if you have a mental illness, like and you didn't know or you're scared of, of dealing with it or you know, but you're embarrassed about it. A lot of people who deal with him like that, who are ashamed of something about themselves, they often let go of that shame when they deal with, with, with Malik, with Zane, because he's very spiritual. He's a spiritual being. He's a very sovereign being. And he knows this about himself. So he could thwart niggas and pull off and nothing happens to him. <laughs> you. Because <laughs> if you really reflected on it, because he was reflecting the whole time, he was reflecting. You just weren't reflecting. He was. So when he pulled off and he decimated you and pulled off, it's like, but he didn't decimate nobody. He, de he, he leaves the scene in devastation a lot, but he verbally does. He verbally does, okay? And so does Yolanda. Yolanda does the same exact fucking thing. Yolanda does the same exact fucking thing. They're both, that's what they need to learn about each other. They both devastate the scene with their words and pull off. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, listen to me. So listen to me. I'm not even gonna sing that song right now. But here's the thing, you guys. <sighs> that's so then, you know, something happened. So what was this, you know? I want it, but spirit wants to get into it, but sometimes y'all get antsy. You gotta let the story play out. Oh no. So it was a, it was a it was it was a stormy night. Okay, let's just put it that way. It was a chilly night. It was an eerie night. It was an interesting night. The moon was doing a little something, something, you know? Uh the both of them, uh, it was no, honestly, it was magical. You know what I'm saying? This sort of experience that happened to them, that was so <laughs> unexplainable. It was pure energy. You know what I'm saying? You know the dance mom song that I normally sing when I say energy? I'm not even going to sing it right now. I'm not going to, oh, electricity. I'm not doing it. 
I'm not doing it, you guys. Stop. But here's the thing. That's what it was. It was a whole lot of energy between the two of them. And something happened. There's a lot of passion. Between who? <laughs> kind eyes. Oh, kind eyes. They have a lot. They have something going on between the two of them. Okay. All right. And Yolanda knows. And I don't really care because I'm going to side with Kim on this one. Just saying. Okay. I'm going to side with Kim on this one. <laughs> Yolanda. Yolanda. <laughs> So what happened after that happened? Mm. Somebody didn't get the reaction that they wanted to get from somebody else. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's so smoky in this room. There's so much gas. I could almost pass out. And there's the light. So I believe there's a lot of um. I don't really know. I I the word it's on my tongue. I just can't. But anyways, somebody's request, somebody's, somebody's, uh, somebody's um, advances, right? <laughs> New beginnings <laughs> were denied and thwarted. You know what I'm saying? Somebody thwarted somebody's options. Somebody said, uh, just kidding. You know, and I believe, I believe that it was an emotional man that did this. I believe that this is a wound that somebody, they dealt with a man who's a cancer Pisces Scorpio, who was not fully in their heart, that they really loved. But as much as this person was not in their heart and acting from their heart, was the way that this other person in this two person dynamic, I don't know who, who did what who made what advance, right? I don't even know the nature of the advance, wink, wink, okay? But whoever this person was that made this advance, they dealt with a man who was not fully in their heart. This person like really loved somebody, but had so much pain. And then the other person who they were with dealt with the same kind of pain or similar and so whoever this person was they embraced themselves fully mm. so then there was a misunderstanding there was a there was a denial there was a there was a indecision there was somebody said i'm not really sure somebody was like maybe later somebody was like i'll have to think about it that's what it was it was not like a straight up or it was a straight up no or it was even a lie it was a lie perhaps somebody lied somebody in this situation now there's a water sign now there's a young water sign in this situation now that's not fully being open and she's also gossiping okay she's showing up here she's a, i don't know is she? Is she? She's gossiping and she's blocking support, happiness. She's blocking a happy, happily ever after because she needs to embrace a new beginning in love. She gossips. Okay. She had a situation here with somebody, right? Who it could have been an older person. He wasn't fully in her in his heart, but they love each other so much. It's not a bond you could break. It's a connection. It's a soulmate connection. It could be a father figure, a brother figure, an uncle. Um, yeah, or even a husband. But this young water sign, she doesn't have trust. Okay, she she she's got a little bit of a situation going on with her. Okay, she's not somebody who, if you met her, she's very shysty. Okay. Zane is 100%. Yolanda is 100%. The water sign, the young water sign, that's a child. Right? She's not. Okay? Wink, wink. 
she gossips. She does things on the side. She talks out both sides of her mouth. Yes, she does. She projects her paranoia onto others. If you let her, she will. If you do it to her, she fucking will, okay? But if you let her, she will. This person here, they don't embrace their emotion. They're stranded in abandonment. Oh, God, they called their Uber six hours ago. It still hasn't showed up. They're stranded in their abandonment wounds. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my jaw. My jaw. My jaw. Stranded. Woof. Straddled and stranded. In their abandonment wounds. Oh, my God. But they also, they want to get out of it. Whoever this person is, this water sign person, she wants to get out of it. He wants to get out of it so bad. And I feel like it's a she. <laughs> She's so fucking two-faced. Two-faced. <laughs> two-faced. Yep. She's two-faced. Totally. So fucking two-faced. You wait. I define how I feel, especially when you're smothering me. I define how I feel. I feel like I feel like whoever this person is here, she tries to define other people's emotions or put words in niggas' mouths, you know. Um, she's mad manipulative and flaky and flighty and stuff. Like <laughs> She's adorable. She is so lovable. It's so hard to part ways with her. But she's so fucking fickle. Oh my God. She's so fucking fickle. What's she do? Oh God. She thwarted the happiness in the home. <laughs> what did she brought about decimation? How did she do this spirit? Let's get to the point of it. But at the same, I want to ground down. You're right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> She safeguarded her emotions, right? She saw a new beginning, right? <laughs> oh my God. Now I'm like, wait, what? I feel like she, she, because we're doing this reading in the eyes of spirit, right? But she felt like, oh, he's trash. That's what she was saying, right? <laughs> she was, but she was mad secretive about this. But she also dealt with this in herself as well. She didn't really project. She just, she's not a jealous person. She's not a jealous person, okay? So here's the thing. She's not a jealous person. She deals with a heavy fucking amount of jealousy, though. She, it's, un, it's unnatural. She can't breathe. She can't breathe. That's how much jealousy she deals with. It's unnatural. She wants to get out of here. But at the same time, she don't want to leave. Why should she have to fucking leave? Fuck them. They leave. Why don't they leave? And I don't blame her. Okay, but I'm the page of cups too. So, but I'm not fickle like this. This is this is fickle, and this is some. Oh, I'm flighty. I'm flighty. I be. I don't be here. You need to be here, honey. So, but the only thing that she does, she thwarts. Oh, she loves to thwart with fulfillment. Oh, she loves to thwart with fulfillment. Oh, she loves to spoil show. Oh God, she loves to spoil the show. That's how she is. She loves to spoil the show. But she's a little bit narcissistic in that way. She don't really care. If she's in a bad mood, she's going to fuck everything up. <laughs> she be coming through with her drama and stuff. She don't care, bro. She doesn't care. <laughs> but she has a deep inner child wound, all right? It's deep. And she also is having a new beginning in self-love. It's in her face. It's just coming up, but it hurts. It's like, ow, but it's coming up because it's like, oh, don't you want to play with me now? You stepped on the toy, play with it. No, <laughs> what is she going to do with it? I don't know. But Zane is mad grounded. That's why they're good for each other. But it's like, she doesn't see him 100%. <laughs> she doesn't see him. She doesn't see him or anybody like him 100%. Okay. She doesn't see any potential or any opportunity with him but she's still holding on to him. It's so strange. It's so strange. But that's why it's none of my business. I'm just doing the reading and this is all that's coming up. It's none of my business. Okay, listen, I'm just the Knight of Cups and the King of Pence. So now we have him showing up right now, right? Oh my God. Here she go. Boom. So... 
it was a misunderstanding. Okay? It was. And it was like all that needed to happen so that they could learn a lesson and come back to being committed to themselves. Him, like I said, him coming into their life, she had her four, her three kids and herself, and that was it. And she, and she was happy. She did not want anybody or anything to come in. Now here comes Zane. Look, you guys, here comes Zane with his pet, with the fifth pentacle. <laughs> He's so annoying. <laughs> So here he comes with his fifth pentacle right there. And so it's like, ah, oh, destitution, change, no, to a Capricorn lady who's living the life, who's living her life like, it, like it's golden. That's, you, you just need to fuck off for a little bit. So she was guarding her stuff and she was refusing to accept that she had a new beginning in love with somebody new. And he was a new beginning in love for her. Okay, now, <clears throat> whatever way, but I feel like it's a very holistic homage way, okay? But I'm hearing homage, I don't know, pay homage. But, um, you know, there's a new beginning that she has with him, but there's a lesson that she needs to learn about him and about the situation with him and about herself. It's like, he is tied to her and they're both Capricorns, they're both Capricorns. And they're connecting in such an intimate, unique way that only a certain person could fit in that spot. And why is he fitting in that spot? There's something going on. And so they are learning a very spiritual lesson right now. It's very spiritual, godly, tied to nature, family, tradition, ethics, rules or rites of passage, what really fucking matters, doing the right fucking thing. That's what they're looking at. They're all looking at it. All of them are just looking at themselves because they don't normally do especially the water sign she never really do <laughs> the only person that really does is zane the only person that really does is zane and here we go they're always gaslighting this nigga that's why he pulled off because that's what happens when you gaslight niggas and they're speaking their truth and they're introspecting way more than you then they pull off and they can devastate the scene okay he's not realizing that he got recognition okay he's not getting the record what is going on with him He's being thwarted, like he thwarts others. <laughs> but he's being thwarted though, you know? And he's also, but he's getting back the upper ground. He's seeing stuff that he wants come in. But there's a new beginning in truth that this man needs. He needs this. I feel like he feels like he's in an alternate reality. He needs this truth. Oh my God. It's a truth in getting recognized. What is he? He needs a truth in getting recognized and feeling secure in himself like, Somebody, oh my, I don't know if Zayn needs to be more secure in himself or he needs to just understand the truth about his comfort zone because he might not understand something about his comfort zone. And she crossed his comfort zone, clearly. But he might not have known that, right? <laughs> Listen, she's safeguarding her energy, all right? That's how she feels about the situation. She's just going to hold on to what really matters and stay in her lane. And she's just going to, you know, she's being possessive about what really matters to her, which is, you know, whatever really matters to her, she's being possessive to it. And then with him right now, he's being blocked from seeing his happily ever after. He feels really unhappy when he should be super happy right now. And it's because someone is blocking him, perhaps. This person here that's safeguarding herself and clinging on, she's guarding herself off. Is, is making him sad. He's sad that she's guarding herself off, okay? Because he's walking away from a bad habit and trusting in the unknown. He just doesn't trust in the unknown, so he might lie. But I don't even feel like it's lies. I feel like he just doesn't take action. This is so emotional what happens to him. He's it, this, he, he gets in such an emotional space. It's like there's no words to describe it. It's just feelings and colors. Perhaps there's a new beginning in truth around himself in his life that he's needing to accept or he's been needing to accept about himself and about who he is and about how he works and about, you know, how he's thwarting his partnerships and stuff like that and thwarting his expansion. You know, he might need to introspect more, but it's not like he needs to introspect more. It's like, I feel like he, that's all he does. <laughs> that's all he does. 
he just needs to love himself like this is so strange something has happened to him and it might be personal and that's the reason why i'm not picking up on it but i feel like it's tied to the way that she's guarding herself off or someone is it's completely invalidating and it's blocking him from seeing that he got the victory okay and he got a victory when it comes to somebody thwarting him he thwarted her right back he doesn't realize how she how the way he that way he felt like he's been thwarted she got thwarted the same way okay because <laughs> she's guarding herself off you know and you know she was thwarted in the sense of her blessings she had a conclusion of, in a cycle in her life somebody might have passed away in her life okay she might have even got married <laughs> Yeah, she has a happiness in her life. So I don't know how that's thwarted. I don't know how, you know, it was, I mean, a bit then again, you know, I feel like he's upset because she feels like she got away with something. You know what I mean? This is straight. This is so emotional. It's him, right? He feels like she got away with something. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, ooh, I'm a Libra. So I'm judging every thought that comes in my head. <laughs> and that's so bad, but I'm a Libra. I have to judge shit. So I'm not judging him. Because he just has a different brain than mine. But I'm just like, oof, you know, that's a lot. You know, his feelings are all up in his head. I don't know how, how you do that. I don't know how you do that. How do you do that? Can you teach me? Um, but no, um, he feels like, oh, she got away with it because she's happy. No, but like, I feel like he can't see how she's happy. And I feel like, I feel like if he saw how she was happy, he would actually realize something good. So, you know, this is Zane. He is his own, but that's, he is Zane. You know what I mean? And he, who are you again? And that's just what it is. So that's just how he is. He has something going on with him where he feels like he wants to be happy about this situation, but he can't be, or his happily ever after is being blocked because something is making him walk away from a bad habit. And he just has to trust in the unknown and know that the best thing has just happened to him, but it might have come in the worst form to him. But it was so good for him because he had a bad habit. He had a bad habit. And he doesn't realize how he has his family. He has a happiness. He has his relationship. He has a happy relationship, too. It's happy, but he just can't see it because he might be separate from them right now. He's introspecting again. Oh, here we go. He's gone. He's vanished. <laughs> He's gone off on his own again. You know, He's just in his own world again. But he can't see how he he has his happy family. And he's got so many possibilities now available to him now because something has happened. A possibility opened up in his life as a result of this. And he's just needing to surrender to the fact that that was a part of it, of him getting what he wanted. It was just devastating to go through the whole experience. And it's like that was devastating for him. Mm. Most times I don't like being on people's business. So. That's why I don't really like doing these readings too much, but I'm not going to judge it. I know you guys are like, hey, what about me? <laughs> I ain't come here for myself. <laughs> so, um, you know, I know it's about somebody else right now. You're having to care about somebody else. Sorry, guys. But you guys probably spend all day caring about other people, too. So I get it. But this is also someone that's, it's not like it's me that is so boring. It's Zayn Malik and... Yolanda Hadid, and they're famous and amazing, you know? And this is also a really cool story. So um, I thought it'd be nice to do.